Okay, so this is going to be a video talking about proprietary mask filters, or different filters different masks take. Because where I've had a lot of influx of viewers recently, obviously concerned about coronavirus type stuff and wanting to get respirators, uh, they don't really know how different filters work for different brands. So if you're a long time subscriber you'll probably know all this, but this will probably be quite helpful for a lot of new people, because I've been getting a lot of questions about this. So, I've often been asked, if I buy X brand of masks, you know, what filters do I need? And this is where it can get quite confusing, I think, for people getting into masks, because basically there's two ways of looking at it. Generally with half face masks and some full face masks from sort of industrial brand type companies, they use proprietary filters. What this means is each mask series, or essentially, or each brand uses filters only their masks use. The reason being it makes them more money. So 3M has basically a three point bayonet style locking filter. Um, the JSP ones, like this one, has a four point locking filter, similar to the 3M one, but it's four points, not a three point one. The GVS Ellipse kind of has a cheek filter style system. Um, there's a type of Scott Pro filter, which is a sort of clip on and twist filter. So basically, every brand of filter uses a different you know, like if every brand of mask uses a different brand of filter. However, this isn't the same when it comes to military style masks or other types of industrial masks. So basically what you want to do is when you're buying a mask, look on the specification page for it if you can find one and look up what kind of filters it takes. Because the vast majority of military style masks, or whatever, take a 40mm filter. Now, most western ones are always 40mm NATO, RD40, Stanag. Um, not 40mm Gost. This becomes a problem if you end up buying Gost masks, have NATO filters for them and find you can't fit the filters very well to the masks. But, to keep it simple, most military masks for absolutely ages have been 40mm. Um, this is like the standard. This is why I've always advised people, if they have a choice in the budget, get a 40mm mask. The reason being, you get a much, much wider choice of filters, because there's like, basically hundreds of brands that make these filters of different types. Whereas if you're buying, you know, like a 3M or JSP or whatever half face mask, you're limited to the filters that brand makes. So what I want to show you now is kind of how these filters differ. So I won't show the GVS because as I said that's a cheap filter one. It was worth showing at the beginning. But what I want to do, for example, is this is a 3M 7500 and this is the um, JSP uh, Pro Force 8. So, or Force 8, whatever it's called. So let's get one of these filters off and get one of the filters off of the 3M and you'll be able to see that although they're similar they're not the same so as much as these are a similar design if you look at these this has four points this is a three point also the male connectors are on the filter here on the 3M the um, filters are female type thing the masks male so just to show you let's say we've got this filter look it's not going to go on there Similarly, if we got the 3M filter and tried to put it on here, oh, that's the 3M mask, so of course that's going to fit on there. If we got the 3M filter, tried to put on the um, JSP, look, that's not going to work because the filter's smaller than that. So, what you have to understand is that if you're getting a mask, you need to think about filter compatibility to an extent because it's no good buying something and then finding you can't get filters for it afterwards. Um, so, basically, yeah, when it comes to industrial masks, do a little bit of research, please, before getting them. Um, you know, what kind of filters they take, because as I said, you need to basically buy that brand's filters. It's like ink cartridges, where companies make the ones that, um, you know, although com some companies do rip-off cartridges, the point is that, you know, you have to buy that company's cartridges, which gets very expensive very quickly. The advantage of 40mm masks is that so many different companies make 40mm filters that although often they can be expensive if you spend enough time shopping around it's not like one brand that has market dominance of that type of filter so with you know 40mm filters you'll find military surplus ones which aren't guaranteed to protect you in a lot of ways but they can often be very very cheap especially if you find somewhere which just wants to get rid of a load of them in stock so it's not like they're even charging you know like I think the cheapest I've ever bought military surplus filters for was £1.50 each, or it might have been £1 each. But that means, you know, for £15 you could have bought 10 filters, which is very, very cheap. Um, whereas with 3M, I think it's normally like $10, £10 for their cheapest type of filters officially. So if you were, you know, giving filters to 10 people with 3M, it would be £100, $100. With an army surplus one, it might be, you know, $10, £10 for 10 people. 
regarding filters. And of course, if you want to get new filters, which is always more advisable, you've still got a lot more choice, you know. Um, whereas you don't really get that with half face masks. Um, again, things like 3M full face masks, they're still restricted to different types of filters, you know, their own brand, but when it comes to full face military masks or industrial masks made by quite a few companies, that isn't such a restriction. So yeah, hopefully that's answered it, but the simple answer is if you're buying a mask, um, firstly see if there's a load of different pictures of it, because if you see a thread like that you can be pretty sure it's 40mm, that's the easiest way of telling. Look at the description, you know, and then ask if you're not sure, but for the most part it's, you know, be aware that, no, with half face masks, especially 3M, Scott and all of those, for their sort of branded masks in a sense, no, you can't just randomly buy any filter and fit it. Uh, with military masks that's a lot more forgiving because everything was made to like a NATO or Warsaw Pact standard where the different superpowers had to have tech that was compatible with each other. Not between Warsaw Pact and NATO obviously but in their own power groups you know you wanted your allies to be able to share technology with each other. So anyway it's like ammo standardization basically. So there you go uh, hopefully that's cleared up a bit about filters for people who weren't sure about it.